Welcome back again, you filthy exiles. So, off of the back of the video I put up last night, I've been reading through the comments, and I've also been doing further research, because we're sort of in an unprecedented time where we have such a large, vast number of builds that are playable now, um, that it's actually hard to determine what to play. So, anyway, that segues into, welcome to another uh, five good build starters or league starters for uh, 3.17 and this is going to take into account some of the feedback that I've seen in the in the comments in the description <clears throat> so anyway let's go from there and uh, yeah enjoy so the first build of the rank is actually the uh, explosive arrow totems and this in particular has been put together by crouching tuna and uh, pelsteron which is in the, the link is in the description to their videos and the, their channel sorry Essentially how this works, or my understanding from uh, sort of watching Crouching Tuna's video, is it looks at using attack speed to stack up to 20 fuses from the use of totems within a small window of time while Ignite is in play. Now obviously there's changes to the way that Explosive Arrow works, uh, and this now applies Explosion deals 5% more damage with hits and, per, and ailments per Explosive Arrow. It was, this was previously just hits. It's a very rudimentary understanding and I've, I've only just sort of started looking into the build and it looks quite interesting. Now, the video itself is incredibly informative. Um, I, even I've learned a fair bit from it. Uh, Crouching Tune has got a, a history of really good uh, material on YouTube as well as very informative material. This seems to be a recurring trend if you Google um, and look for Explosive Arrow. So I'm going to put this on this list and uh, the, so far the POB looks rock solid. The gearing is pretty cheap, and in fact, it, you know, it's using a, a bloody storm cloud, which is just bizarre. And, uh, and yeah, very minimal other things going on, and everything else in the tree looks pretty reasonable. So, I, I'm pretty confident to add this onto the, the list. I think this is going to actually be a big build based on what I'm seeing, based on everybody live stream it, streaming it, and based on everything else. This just looks like a, a solid league starter uh, for this particular league. So the second build that we're going to uh, that we're going to look at on this uh, particular list is actually going to be Poison Concoction by Pelsteron. Now, in the past leagues, this has been, or in the last league, 3.16, this was an incredibly good, I guess, starter build uh, and and very scalable and, and forgiving build for the uh, the short leagues that were run. Mainly around the fact that it looks at stacking nine poisons on enemies with a heap of overlap from uh, greater multiple projectiles and uh, and and things like that. Um, outside of that, you know, you don't even need to worry about a, a, a weapon at the end of the day. It, this build doesn't use them. It, it relies on the use of your flasks. Now, it does use the Pathfinder. And, yeah, as far as I can see, the, uh, the build guide that Pelstrone's put together is incredibly accurate and informative. The tree looks rock solid. And, yeah, I've really got nothing else to say about that. This was requested in the, in the comments. So, of course, you know, I've, I've got to... Do what the people want and uh, and put this one in. But as an overall, this is going to get you over the line as far as league starters go and get you into that sweet, sweet end game. And in fact, the video that's linked in the description was only one week after league start in 3.16. From looking at the patch notes, there were absolutely no changes that were made in relation to the uh, the poison poisonous concoction skill or any associated sort of itemization. And uh, yeah, so that's the second build that we're going to look at for uh, 3.17. So build number three on this uh, particular listing is actually going to be from Kobe Black Mamba, which is uh, the other guy who does really good curation videos. So uh, if you watch this, Kobe, I like your stuff and uh, keep up the good work. Um, so anyway, uh, he's actually got a really good build guide or a league starter guide for a lightning strike um, berserker from 3.16. So I decided to put it into this list as it is actually quite a popular build. And in fact... By the end of the league, 7% of the overall league was playing Lightning Strike and 6% were playing Veil Lightning Strike. So, you know, doing the crazy mathematics, it's 13% of 3.16 were playing Lightning Strike builds in various forms. Um, you know, other different various ways that you could play it potentially could be, you know, through using the Raider. Uh, there are Jug variants that do accuracy stacking. Uh, there's there's a number of different ascendants. Uh, even champions got into the fray, though they had less DPS than other variations. Um, either way, the uh, the general trend is that this is a really powerful skill, and it scales up incredibly well from league start. From looking at even just the gearing in Kobe's tree, uh, it's just quite frankly just a very straightforward tree. 
There are some things like strike skills target one additional enemy that can be a little difficult to get on at the very onset of the league. But, you know, I think I was buying those gloves for like 50 chaos a piece in 3.16 and it's really just going to depend on the changes in crafting and the changes in, uh, in everything else league on league. Uh, but from a league start perspective, an absolutely strong contender to start with. The Zerka does crazy amounts of damage and, you know, this is really going to be a, uh, a boss destruction league. Now, the tree he's also got here does, has about 40,000 armor, max cap resistances, and uh, is also looking at about 1,700 leech with uh, pretty moderate gear as well. And then projectile damage of like 3 million DPS and melee hits 6.6 .6 million DPS. So, as an overall, very good build. And uh, check his channel out, check his curation out um, for 3.17. And uh, yeah, this is number three on the list. Okay, so for number four is actually from a creator that I really like curating uh, builds on this list for. And uh, and actually I really like his content because he, he makes builds, you know, for everybody people, which is what my goal has always been as well. And uh, yeah, but it's uh, it's Big Ducks and in particular it's his, uh, he actually did some Spectral Helix Champion testing in the, in the past few weeks. Uh, so I've, I've put his build uh, video down in the description and obviously you can see it in the background uh, as footage. Now I actually played this uh, or, or a variation of this build in, in the short leagues that were at the end of 3.16 and I really liked it. Um, what Big Ducks has really done well in this build uh, sort of uh, testing or guide, whatever you want to call it, is explain some of the things that I learned in particular or, or that most people learn in building this build is, is, is basically, it, it feels a bit clunky in the very start, but as you scale it up, it's actually extremely powerful. On the champion itself, very strong as well. Now, he's also done this in SSF. I'll actually have a tree down in the description below for that of benchmark to the, um, to the actual 3.16 uh, league by the end of the league. Uh, which basically has it at about three point uh, about three million DPS per hit, and uh, the gearing is is obviously a little bit more expensive, but it's still not too bad. The biggest thing that you need to know about this build is you need a good six linked Val axe with high DPS. That's basically the most important thing you need to know about this build. If you've got that, it's an incredibly strong build, and you can put down anything. You know, as long as you get like life on hit, watches eye with life on hit while you have vitality, things like that. All contributes to this build being much, much smoother. Does huge AoE. Basically, it's just like a uh, the old school Hammerdon sort of build if you wanted to play a Hammerdon. This is about as close as it gets. And this can be physically damage stacked. You don't need to accuracy stack. You can run it with Resolute Technique, which is in fact how Big Ducks has achieved his, uh, his video here. But as a league starter, just a very, very easy league start build and very, very forgiving. Uh, with minimum requirements for cluster jewels. In fact, no requirement for cluster jewels in the in the POV that Big Ducks has provided in his video. But uh, check it out and uh, and enjoy. The final build that I'm going to feature in this list is actually from a uh, a smaller creator, and his name is By the British Exile. And uh, I got the idea to look into this one from one of the comments that I read around somebody wanting to start Absolution Necromancers. And then I looked uh, to this guide and I was actually incredibly impressed with the sheer amount of detail uh, that uh, that he goes into for the 3.17 league start and uh, and how to actually gear up Absolution. Basically the footage he's provided, the POB itself actually is quite surprising. I never really thought much of Absolution until looking at this and I went, holy Jesus. The only thing that I would say if uh, for anyone who wants to play this build is it will require a Doriani prototype. Uh, to sort of amp the damage up, but you can sort of play with that and get away with like a cheap impulses setup. It'll drop the damage by about 500, 500 to 600k. But, um, but you know, once you get the Dorianis, it's really like your target item. Everything else is pretty reasonable to get your hands on. Um, but yeah, the build is incredibly informative. Now, Absolution basically works by you self-cast Absolution, the enemy dies, and then you spawn minions. Uh, Sentinels of Absolution, and then they continue to do progressive damage, and then what you scale in the gem setup then applies to those minions. So, and then you know you'll run other things like with any standard minion build, you'll have support minions, raise zombie, carrying golem, all that sort of shizness. Um, and this is all fleshed out in great detail in uh, in British's guide. The other thing that he does really well is he actually has all the skills uh, basically broken down by act in his POB. And, uh, and, and yeah, just an absolutely and excellently informative guide. It's a high armor build too, so he's got about 25.6 thousand armor. 
at about 1.3 million DPS. Uh, so definitely worth checking out and having a crack. It's not so meta, and that's what I like about it. Um, and anyone who watches my channel uh, knows that I tend to go after builds that are not widely played, uh, and Absolution is just one of those builds. So uh, if you'd like to try it, um, check his video out and, uh, and look into it a little further, but uh, that's build number five of this list. All right, so I hope these videos help everybody sort of figure out what they want to play. I'm not going to do any more curations after this one. I think uh, 10 builds is enough uh, sort of selection. And then obviously it's, uh, it's a research and look into everything. Uh, there's just so many changes uh, or self-cast buffs in the notes. Like, they're just, we're like, where do you really start is the question. Um, but definitely Explosive Arrow looks really interesting. If you want to play a different minion build, Absolution is another very different sort of interesting sort of way to go uh, i'll be honest with you at, at, a, at a point in going through this video i did really consider if i wanted to play poisonous concoction but i'm going to stick with rf but uh anyway uh, don't forget to like and sub to the channel follow the twitch channel as well um and uh until next time have a good one and uh bye